Welcome back. Let's look at using the Excel two-way data table for a two-way sensitivity analysis. Here's our, our model. Our model, we're finding the, the payment amount for a loan based on a particular rate and number of periods and present value. You can see the payment function uh, reported here in cell E9, and this is a function of E6, the rate, E7, number of periods, and E8, the present value. We want to see how this payment would uh, vary uh, as a function of, of two of those parameters, two of those inputs, number of periods and present value. And so on the worksheet, we've recorded in advance this top row of values from 24 to 60 to represent some different values for the number of months. And then down this column, in column I, some different values for the present value from 20,000 to 30,000. Okay, well let's uh, end at the top corner. It's a link to the outcome variable E9, which is the, the payment amount. Let's highlight this range. Go to the data ribbon, what if, data table. The row input, our row is number of months. That's found in the model in cell E7. So we select E7. Our column input is a present value that's found in our model in cell E8. Then say OK. And then and what we find is, as an outcome is the sensitivity of the payment to those two different parameters, months and, and present value. So if we had a, a loan of 24 months for a, a loan amount of uh, 20,000, the monthly payment would be 877.43, whereas for 60 months and 30,000, the payment amount would be 566.14. Thank you. See you next time.